The process I use to create this painting, I paint from the inside out. Within that, there's you know, an element of performance before I actually create the canvases themselves. I fast for two days beforehand in order to cleanse my body, but also my mind. I always make sure that I'm in the right frame of mind to create because I want everything that goes onto canvas to be a projection of how I truly feel, which is very positively towards the world. I've been wanting to create something in my new home of Los Angeles and Nicole Ehrlich and I got together and she offered me the space at her home in Beverly Hills to create this collection and Nicole's been a big supporter of my work. We worked together for many years starting with like Nick Knight and Lady Gaga. I love having her in my life and she was looking for a space to do this collection and body of work and I said why don't you do it at my place? And she said, I would love to. And that's where the collaboration came in for this. So my role is really just giving her a safe and supportive environment to make whatever the fuck she wanted to make. I'm delighted, honored, and thrilled to be working with Nicole and Millie on this project. We met last year at Nicole's Celebration for Women in Art. And I was completely stopped in my tracks when I saw Millie Brown suspended by optimism where she did a performance through the duration of the event and was suspended by massive helium balloons in a transcendental like state Millie has a very deep meditative quality to her work and it's also charged with such incredible energy that that is just likely to stop people Natalie and I met at the annual celebration of women in art during Basel, Miami, and Millie and I just felt she'd be the perfect person to curate a show like this with her expertise in performance-based artwork and her support for feminist projects and females in general. One of my very first performances was with Nick Knight and Show Studio in London. We've continued to show and collaborate on projects ever since. Last year I performed at the Women in Art um, fundraiser with the Brooklyn Museum and Elizabeth A. Sackler Center for Feminist Art and School of Doodle and I created a performance installation during Basel, Art uh, Basel Miami Beach which I'm looking forward to continuing being a part of and supporting women in art. I'm also collaborating with the Marina Abramovic Institute during Freeze this upcoming May, which I'm excited to finally collaborate on something with the Institute, and it's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. We need to show an event like this, why it brings energy and life to a street, to a building, and what the benefits are. If you're in the art world, you kind of know how great it is to bring life to a property and not have to put pressure on the artist to sign a long-term lease. Take a space, be yourself, let the world come here, invite your friends, invite clients, like make it cool, make it what you want it to be, and take advantage of the short term that it is. Because an artist is not going to take a very expensive space like this for a long time. There are a few projects that I feel so lucky that I get to be influenced by such a body of work that means so much more than just a beautiful, peaceful, relaxing, fun piece that you can look at. But this has been something that I've loved and been a passion project for the last year. I describe Millie's work as a post-contemporary approach to abstract expressionism. We are at a similar point right now that we were in terms of culture and society when abstract expressionism put New York on the art map. 
and right now we're seeing the world collide around us and artists strive to communicate something of a higher dimension and I feel that that is what Millie is doing with her work. It's first a communication of self and then it is a communication as a whole. People feel very strongly about my work, whether it's positive or negative. I feel like there's not much in between that. You know, people have a strong reaction to it, and that is what I really enjoy is like being able to move people because I feel that art should move people, and whether you know they've moved them in whichever way, as long as it makes you think and it makes you feel and it connects you with that piece, then that is what art should do. With my original paintings, I directly would use my stomach, my hands to vomit directly onto the canvases and I'd create these splatter paintings, you know, with my hands splashing onto this. With this body of work, I wanted to incorporate my body in other ways to manipulate the paint on the canvas and cover it from side to side with colour. I didn't want any negative space in this, I just wanted pure colour, of which the colour is inspired by the city and by the sunset and the energy of the city and everything that I've been absorbed in my time being here. I hope that with my presence on the board of the Brooklyn Museum and the Elizabeth A. Sackler Center for Feminist Art that I'll be able to support and influence more artists like Millie Brown. She does not have a focal point in any of her paintings. So her techniques, she uses her body to do, whether it's mixing the almond milk food coloring in her stomach and applying it with her hands, or being suspended upside down by Japanese bondage rope, having paint dripped from her feet, where her hair becomes the brush and the canvas is the documentation of the natural ebb and flow. Millie Brown's performance work is completely transcendental and transformative and is charged with an energy that whether you agree with it or not, you're gonna stop, you're gonna look, and you're gonna be moved. It's exciting to see where this can go and I'm already excited to explore different ways of using my body to manipulate this paint on canvas.